Good election day evening. I'm still reporting on the coup. So I was rushing to get to my job by 6 a.m. at the polls as a Republican poll watcher, and so I didn't have time to set this up correctly. Astronomical photography, especially of a lunar or solar eclipse, is very difficult because the amount of light changes so dramatically in a short time. I couldn't sit with the camera and adjust it, so I quickly set it up about 10 feet off a roadway into the woods so that no one would see it, then took off for my poll watcher job. The intense white part disappears about 5.16 a.m. A few minutes later, the moon enters totality. It moves behind a telephone line. You can hear the cars swish by at 20 times speed. Still, the cars are moving fast enough to shake the ground 10 feet off the roadway. The movement here is that on the edit, I shifted the image up so that it wouldn't run off the bottom of the frame. Notice that the moon gets redder and redder as it enters the deepest part of the shadow, then disappears behind trees. This is the reddest eclipse moon I've ever photographed, and filmed versions don't render the true depth of the red the way the human eye does. It's much redder, much more beautiful in real life. And I believe that this is emblematic of the biggest shift in American politics ever. I'm still reporting from just outside the citadel of world freedom. Good day.